Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is a Goodwill Bins video. I have not put one out in forever. Many of you have been asking, and I'm just gonna give you a little idea of what's going on and why I have not put out any Goodwill Bins footage lately. So I have quite a few videos that are backlogged that are Goodwill Bins videos. And what I like to do is I like to go to the bins and I like to list everything and pop up screenshots of how I listed everything. Well, I started to sell on whatnot. And if you're not following me over there, I'd love for you to come follow. But uh, the big thing is, is I've kind of switched my business model a little bit. So I have not been going to the bins, but here's some good news. If you would like to see, um, I lost a lot of Goodwill bins footage and I had all of this inventory and because I could not make videos with it, I went ahead and sold the items on whatnot. So if you go to my live shows and type in Goodwill bins, the lost footage, you can actually watch me sell items that I got from the Goodwill bins and sold on whatnot. So you can actually see what I sold the items for. And better yet, I do have a referral link down below so you can get $15 to shop when you join whatnot with that link. So lots of people buying things from the Goodwill bins and selling them auction style on whatnot. Whatnot also has a marketplace. I do have videos that teach you how to sell on whatnot. If you're interested in that, you can definitely check those out. Um, not everybody likes to do live selling, so the marketplace is great as well. So check out those videos, but we're basically just going to dig in this video. If there's something that I purchased that I actually listed on eBay, I will pop up a screenshot. It's been a long time since um, I made this footage, so I'm not really sure what else in this video. I'm doing the voiceover right now as I'm watching it back with you. But what I will tell you is, it's making me want to go back to the bins. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. So if you guys watch me on Whatnot and you would be interested in me doing a video of um, going to the Goodwill bins and then giving you a future date that I will be selling those items, let me know down in the comments. Right now, my focus is just jewelry. I'm selling... Um, I'm dumping boxes of jewelry out and I'm untangling them and doing grab and sell style shows. Super fun. Here are a bunch of records and I know there are tons of people on Whatnot that sell records. So uh, if you're a Whatnot reseller, let me know if you would have grabbed these records. Checking out the bottoms. Always look at the bottoms of things. I did not pick that up. I threw it back down. So must not have been anything of interest. Um, I could not see the bottom there. So not really picking up too much right now. You'll see me throw things in my cart. That means that I bought them. I do have a lot of items that are in my money pile that I have been saving to list on eBay, but I just never seem to get to it. Um, am I still selling on eBay? Yes. Am I still selling on Poshmark and Mercari? Yes, uh, I use List Perfectly to cross post. I start on eBay and cross post to the other platforms. I do have a tutorial down below that teaches you how to sell on, um, or I'm sorry, how to use List Perfectly. If you watch that and uh, you want to use List Perfectly, uh, you can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with my referral link. So you can check that out. Not finding too much. I don't even remember picking this up. This has been a wow, but I thought it would be fun to go down memory lane and look at some of these uh, old Goodwill Bins video footage. And you guys, what I always like to do is if you see something that you would have picked up that I missed, timestamp it down in the comments and tell me why you would have picked it up. Have you sold it before? Is it a bolo? And most of the videos on this channel are about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for. Over in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, it hit over 100,000 followers or members in the Facebook group. So if you're not there, definitely come over. It's a reseller group. We talk about uh, big money bolos, 
lots of stuff like that, anything reseller related. So join that group. If you share one of your big money bolos in the share post, I will feature it in a Bolo Buddies video, which is super fun too. And you guys can check out all those videos. It's a great way to learn what is currently selling on eBay for big money. These little nativities, they can do well. Really just depends. I did buy this. I can't remember if I listed it or not. I feel like I did. There's always a lot of throwbacks at the end, but I think I got that. It might have already sold. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, this is old footage, but I thought it would be fun to go back and watch it with you guys and just dig. I know a lot of you guys like the digging and you like to just watch. Uh, this is probably not going to be super educational like most of my videos, so I would love your feedback. Um, I usually list the items and pop up screenshots of how I listed everything. Not going to be doing that in this video. This is just going to be a voiceover and me digging. So I uh, would love your feedback down below. That was a little, uh, is that an elf on the shelf? You got to be careful with those. Some of those can get you a Vero uh, shoe horns. Is that what those are called? No, those aren't horns. <laughs> are they stretchers? Shoe stretchers? I don't know. Should I have got the shoe stretchers, you guys? Maybe I should have got the shoe stretchers. Now, these would have been good items for whatnot. You have to remember, when I was searching the bins at this time, I was not looking for whatnot. If I went to the Goodwill bins and was looking, I would be looking for totally different things, probably. I'd be looking for small things, easy to ship things, things that I could list um, at a low start price. On whatnot, I typically start my items at $5 or less, and just go with it and whatever they sell for. So if I'm buying by the pound, I would definitely have to keep in mind the weight of the item so that I could make sure that I'm not going to lose money. All right, you guys, let's keep looking here. Not a whole lot, not a whole lot, I gotta say. Um, this is part two of my video, so you will see part one another time. If you guys like this format, I'll go ahead and uh, work on those and get those released for you. And we're going to keep digging. Digging, digging. And my favorite part is looking at the comments and seeing what you guys would have picked up that I missed. If you go back and watch my other Goodwill Bins videos, you're going to see me popping up screenshots of everything that I purchased and listed on eBay. Um, there was one Goodwill Bins video that says um, in the title, I will make thousands. You definitely want to go watch that video. It was one of my best Goodwill Bins finds to date. Oh, it was so exciting. Uh, but definitely check that out. And those items are still selling. So definitely a big money bolo that a lot of people pass by. Going to keep looking here. I'm not sure what that was. Would you have picked those up? Are those boxing gloves? Are they vintage or are they modern? Let me know in the comments if you would have got, if you would have grabbed the boxing gloves. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, oh, do you guys remember the video that Dad Planet did when he picked up all those hangers? And he, uh, it was like, it went viral check out Dad Planet. And it says, I forget, I bought 50 or something like that. Maybe it was over 100. I don't know. But uh, if you go to Dad Planet and search most popular videos, you can check out the video about the hangers. And he, I think he bought them all. And he talks about those in that video. Maybe I should have grabbed them, but I'm pretty sure I left them behind. All right, we're going to keep digging some crafting items here, some zippers. I think these are in a tote in my basement. And I don't think I ever listed them. Unless I sold them on whatnot, I'm not sure. Looking for a Yeti. Uh, now, the big hype is the Stanley Cups. Have you guys heard about those? Somebody I saw on, I think it was Instagram, a post where they found a Stanley Cup at the Goodwill Bins. And they're like, look, guys, they're already at the Goodwill Bins, the Stanley Cups. But do a search on uh, solds for Stanley Cups. It's crazy. 
absolutely crazy. Uh, I like to dig to the bottom. I like to look for small toys. If you want to see the types of items that I sell on eBay and Poshmark and Mercari, I have separate what sold videos. Um, those are my sales. I have my bread and butter sales, which are items I sold for $35 or less. And then I have my big money bolos. And those are my items that sold for um, $35 or more. So definitely check that out. Some of these items may have been put into my marketplace on whatnot. And when I put things in my marketplace on whatnot, I do not put them on the other platforms. They are strictly whatnot marketplace items. I think there was one item that I cross posted, but it ended up selling on another platform. So I removed it from whatnot. But you can sell items that are high dollar value in your marketplace on whatnot. It's not just live auctions, but if you're selling on whatnot, a tip for you that I have is make sure you put items in your marketplace, your buy it now, because people can buy the items from your buy it now during your auction and then they get the discounted shipping. And don't forget, if you're not on Whatnot, I do have that referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop. You can use that with me or anyone on Whatnot. And I also have a link if you want to sell on Whatnot and tutorials that teach you how to do that. So definitely check out those videos. All right, we're going to keep looking here, see if we can find anything. Are you guys seeing anything that I'm missing? Do you... Uh, Want me to go back to the bins and do a whatnot sale of the things I find? So far in this video, I'm not finding much at all. What is this? Looks like old magazine ads. Ooh, that might have been good for an ephemera show. Would you guys have picked that up? What is this? What is that? A book? Just digging. Just digging. Oh boy, Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese is a great bolo. I actually just sold, um, it's a very old Chuck E. Cheese toy, you know, really cheap and expensive toy from Chuck E. Cheese, very nostalgic. I sold it for, I think it was $45. Um, I'll try to remember to go back and pop up a screenshot, but you'll see it in one of my what sold videos. Um, if I don't put it in this video, but Chuck E. Cheese, definitely look those items up. All right, we're going to keep digging here. More of this little, uh, I think there's zippers, vintage zippers. I am trying to remember where I put those because I think I can sell those. I love selling toys. I have had toy shows on whatnot. I did a whole loving family show. That right there, I'm pretty sure... Did I sell that on Whatnot? I think I sold that on Whatnot in my marketplace. I'm pretty sure I did. So these are all little toys and little figures. Love, love, love picking those up. Looks like an old belt or something, maybe military. If you guys know what it was, let me know down in the comments. All right. We'll keep digging. Sometimes I feel like I have to feel, fill the voiceover because I don't have the background because I feel like sometimes people are really loud and so I just take out the background noise. So I feel like I need to be talking the entire time and just sometimes there's nothing to talk about. I'm just not seeing anything. Old DVDs, vintage DVDs, VHS, Especially if you can find like the scary movies, VHS, some of those can go for big money. Definitely look those up. If you see them, if they're sealed, they're going to go for more. I just sold a VHS out of my marketplace on whatnot. I only sold it for $5, but I picked it up at the Goodwill bins for, uh, I forget what it was when I was there. It's really, really inexpensive for the, you pay by the pound at the bins. So I probably had less than a dollar in it. Sold it for five bucks. I was happy with that. Uh, I did search comps probably on eBay. 
and decided to put it on whatnot. I don't know what that was. Do you guys know what that was? What was that? I don't think I ended up buying it. I think I put it back. Was that a bad move? And that, I have no idea what that was either. Lots of junk. Lots of junk. Sometimes you can find treasures and sometimes it is just a lot of junk. I think that might have been maybe Paw Patrol, a replacement piece. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I love replacements. That's an old piece. I put that in my cart, but I'm pretty sure I threw that back. Um, I think it had a lot of damage, but can't quite remember. Would you guys have grabbed it or thrown it back? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's keep digging here. I see some Paw Patrol track. I left that behind. There's some more. I did not grab it. I know that you can sell it. Um, right there's another Paw Patrol piece. I do pick up Paw Patrol, but not everything. Most of the time it's long tail, which means it takes a while to sell. I did just recently sell a Paw Patrol piece. You know what? I think I sold those already. I know I listed those. They're, I don't know if I sold them or not, but they're little uh, badges. I'll have to see if I can find the listing. This is a Lego thing. Anything Lego I pick up and uh, replacements, parts, pieces, Lego. If it's at the bins, I'm picking it up because it doesn't weigh anything and people will buy replacement parts. Are they big money? Usually not, but they're a nice bread and butter. All right, we're going to keep digging. There's some big stuff here. I usually shy away from the big stuff. What are these? Are these Legos? Or I'm not sure what these are. Oh, you know what? I think I bought this. I think they were some sort of like jewelry pieces. Yeah. I think I bought these, but I don't know where they're at. They're in a tote somewhere or a bag. I have not gone through these bags yet, I don't think. I think I pulled some things out, like the Paw Patrol that I said that I think I listed, and then there was something else, and then I think I just threw some of the other stuff to the side for a rainy day. <laughs> a rainy day, that's funny. Again, my focus right now has been on whatnot. I'm having a lot of fun over there. It's auction style. I get to hang out with you guys and chat with you while I sell things. It's just super fun. Super, super fun. So if you guys have not checked out whatnot, definitely check it out. I know I've said that multiple times, but I just can't express to you how much fun it is. Even if you come over and you don't buy anything, just come hang out. It's a great way to connect with other people, and uh, I do the untanglings, so it's like watching an untangling jewelry video. You don't know what I'm going to find. I don't know what I'm going to find, so it's entertainment as well as me selling things, and what's cool is you get to see what the items actually sell for on whatnot. Now, they probably would sell for more on a platform, of course, because I'm selling the items at $5 or less. A lot of people that are buying from me are from the channel. So resellers are coming over and picking up some deals. And I think I mentioned earlier, I did a loving family show and you guys can watch that replay under my live shows if you're interested. And again, the Goodwill Ben's lost footage, you can check out all of those live shows, the playbacks, if you want to see how it works before you decide if you want to come to a show, you can check those out. And we're just going to keep digging here. Let's see, we are at, we got about six minutes left. So six minutes of digging. Those were numbers and letters, I think, that you put on those boards. Would you guys have picked those up? That might have been a good replacement piece. I don't know what those types of things retail for, and I wasn't sure what all was missing and what was there, but could have been a good pickup. New old stock items, I like to pick up anything new old stock, especially if it's lightweight, may not be a big money item, but new old stock items typically sell. NOS is what I use in my title for new old stock. There's, you know, different resellers that say different things about NOS. I like to use it. Others do not. Let me know in the comments if you guys use NOS. 
All right, so here's some things that I found and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep or put the items back. I always try to, you know, put some stuff back if I uh, don't think it's something that I will actually list. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm at the Goodwill bins, I just start throwing things in my cart so that I can look it up later. And I don't know about you, but when I get home, I usually have left a lot of things in my cart that I should have thrown back. So let me know in the comments if you are guilty of buying things you should not have bought at the bins. And also tell me in the comments, how much is your Goodwill bins? What do, you th what do they charge by the pound? I think the last time I was there, it was like almost $2.00. But again, it's been a while since I've been up here. So um, it may be over $2 now. I'm not sure. But this is really making me want to go. So you guys let me know in the comments if you want me to go to the bins and sell it on whatnot. <laughs> I might just do it. Might. Right now, like I said, I'm just digging the jewelry. It's so fun. Um, I must not have... I don't know where my cart went. I'm using a tote. What is that? All right, we're going to keep digging. It's funny. Sometimes you throw something back and then somebody else grabs it because they want it. And then you're like, uh, should I have got that? Little gecko, some trains. I always pick up the trains. Uh, you will be surprised what some trains actually sell for. I do recommend that you look them up. Some of them are valuable and can sell for big money. Many of them are just bread and butter. You have to put them in small lots. But, you know, sometimes I'll get 10 to $20 just for one train if it's a harder to find train. So it is definitely worth looking them up. But typically I will lot them up. So that was a nice grab, finding the little trains. And we're going to keep digging. Another little train. Uh, certain brands do better than others, of course. If you just search on eBay, solds, and look up trains, that's going to give you a good idea of which ones are the most valuable. Also, if you're out and about and you're looking at something and you can't figure out what it is, a great tool is Google Lens. Google Lens is free. And I recommend that every reseller has Google Lens on their phone. I do have a video that is um, a tutorial that tells you how to use Google Lens. So definitely check that out if you're not already using Google Lens. Just type Bolo Buddies Google Lens into the chat. And I was talking about videos on how to sell on whatnot. You can type in whatnot for beginners Bolo Buddies and it'll pull up those videos. And it shows you my setup and all of that stuff and how to ship. And we are still digging. Are you guys putting in the comments things you would have picked up that I missed? What is this? Is that one of those cell phone things? No, I don't know what that was. You remember when they had the cell phone things where you put your cell phone in it and it had like UV light or something and it was supposed to kill all the germs? Did anybody have one of those? I never got one of those. These are great. Some of those do well. I can't remember if I actually bought that one or threw it back. They are kind of heavy, so you have to keep that in mind um, when you're buying it. Can you sell it for a profit based on the weight? I'm going to say that thing was probably two to three pounds, so probably would have cost me six bucks, maybe seven. So is, is it worth it? What do you guys think? You are going to say, I would look up comps. That's what I would do too. So I probably did. And I either kept it or threw it back. There's a little Mickey Mouse maybe, Minnie Mouse. I'm not sure what that was. All right, we're going to keep digging. Honestly, I don't really think I bought a whole lot. So this is more just a scavenger hunt. I think I got a lot of small toys and um, items like that. But I may have missed some stuff. Dig, dig, dig. 
this looks like a section I would like because it looks like it's a lot of toys. And I have recently listed some plush on eBay, so I am still getting stuff on the platforms. I'm doing three shows a week right now on whatnot, so what that entails is going live for anywhere between three and five hours and then shipping for two to three hours the next day. So it takes up a lot of time, but it is so fun and I absolutely love it and I appreciate everybody that has come over and watched and hung out. So I must have, I must have checked out and went back in <laughs> or they gave me some bags. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes they would do that. Here's a bunch of small toys that I'm picking up. You guys know if you watch my channel, I love small toys. That looks like Pets Life. I'll probably bundle those up if I haven't already. All right, you guys, we're getting near the end. I'm going to show you some more things here. And more right there. More toys. I told you I love the toys. And I have not paid yet, so they probably just gave me the bags. I'm pretty sure I listed those. I think those were Daisy Kingdom. I think I listed those right away. I don't think they've sold yet. There's a little bunny. Bunnies seem to do well, plush bunnies. I love getting plush on Mercari. If you guys are not on Mercari, definitely check it out for your plush. Um, I do have a referral link down below where, where you can get money to shop. So definitely check that out. And thank you so much for being here. And thanks for watching.